Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. Uh, this is a very out of the blue video that I am going to be making. Yes, I haven't been making a lot of video. I've been dealing with a lot of things on my part. I will blog about that later on. I did watch the debate. Um, and this was happened on Tuesday. I watched it that night and I'm going to talk a little bit about it um, and more about the situation and where we're heading to as well. As you know, I am not a Republican or a Democrat. Just thought putting that out right now. I don't believe in the party system, or except for one of our founding father believed and went. Uh, the rest did it. And it's getting to a point that, you know, people are just picking sides and not thinking and not realizing we're not an industrial revolution anymore. We're more of a techn we're more technologically advanced every day. New studies comes out, new medication, new technology, way of living is has been changed. Um, we are more populated than we are now than before. And the more populated we are, there will be a lot more problems, a lot more resources that we're going to have to consume, a lot more resources we're going to have to recycle. A lot more resources that we have to convert into. You know, if you don't believe in science, and you don't believe what it stands for, then this video is not really not for you. Um, just laying that right now before I put my take in it. If you don't believe in science, this video is not for you. Because I hold hardly agree in science, the theory, the hypothesis, the testing, redoing the testing to get the correct data that you need. And if it's current, then that's the study shows. Yes, a lot of the science do change over time because our understanding do change as well. As that's the standard I believe in because everything revolves around science revolves around mathematics. So, just letting that know right now. Um, just watch the next video, or you can unsubscribe. It's really up to you. I really do not care. I do YouTube as a hobby. Everyone knows I'm a disabled veteran. Um, I am basically apolitical, meaning I don't pick sides at all. Once you when, when you're in the military, you don't really pick sides. You know, who you pick is who you pick. We don't really talk much about politics in the military. Um, you know, you, you know, we have one, one or so, you know, people talk about it and then we have to correct them. When you're off duty, you can't. When you're on duty, you shouldn't. Uh, because who cares if you do like or dislike commander in chief, you still have a job to do. You signed up for it. Um, so yeah. So all everyone's, uh, people that are in that want to listen through and do not want to listen through. Um, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, 20, the first 2020 uh, presidential debate was a shit show, was a huge disgrace. It is one of the worst debates I have ever seen. I had to get out, get off of the debate for 30 minutes because how bad it was. I have friends, neighbors, and family who think differently. With, and also some of them will think like it is a shit show and they had to literally turn it off or regret watching the whole thing. Uh, some of them have anxiety, almost had a stroke because how bad it really was. If you have common sense, you know how bad it was. President Trump has lied so many times within his four years. Pointing fingers at everyone else except for himself for his own incompetence. I know friends and family will watch this and will put comments down on a whole bunch of crap. I'll let you know right now. I'm not going to read it. I am not going to read any of your guys' comments or praising Biden or Trump. I am not going to read it. I'm just going to leave it for you guys to fight because to me, it's a waste of time to fight and argue about it. This is my opinion. You can take it, or you can shove it up your ass. Those are the takes I'll give you right now. 
I'm not going to close my comments at all. I'll let you flood into it. And you can do whatever you, whatever you want with it. Because I really don't care what you think. I really don't care what you're going to do about it. That's the stand I have. It was a shit show. President Trump needs to learn how to shut the hell up. Let the other opponent finishes. If you watch about two hours of it, all he was doing is talking over his opponent, President Biden. And there's really no proof that President Biden has dementia. He was very cognitive in this debate. Yes, he might take Adderall. Who cares? There's a lot of U.S. presidents that have mental and physical disability. But they still did their job with dignity. That he won't be the first or the last if he has some type of mental disability. We have, you know, our country is going to go into a shit show. I feel sorry for the the, the moder. Uh, very sorry for the um, the person who gave out the the questions. And I feel sorry for the American people. Um, I said this to people and people again. America wasn't the greatest country for the last I mean, 20, 30 years. Our, the way of thinking, the way we do things, and we try to do change, went down into the shedder. There has been more research now in, in the studies, basically search engine for Google in the USA to get Canadian um, uh, citizenship. My goal was, when in about 30 years, I'm going to sell everything and move to Japan. Because Japan is a hell of a lot better country than here. And, you talk, and it's basically a veteran that fought for his country for five years. And, I, and the funny thing is that we're not really a Democrat. We are a republic. Only Democratic vote we only have is the Senate, the Congress, the House, and the presidential. That's only the, but we but we run in a republic, voting uh, republics country. You guys need to understand that. Do you know your pledge of allegiance? Why don't you recite that to yourself? The United States of America and the Republic. We are a republic. Not really. We might have a democratic vote, but we're not really a a democratic. We're not a full democratic voting voting um, country. It, it, to me, you know, in my opinion, four more years of Trump is going to get worse. It's really going to get worse. Um, I'm not too worried because I don't think they're going to affect the VA. But if it does, I just want to move out to another country. If it affects the VA, I'm I'm, I'm done fighting. I, I'm I'm done. I'm going to vote. If I don't get my ballot, I am going to vote on November third. And I'm not going to tell you I'm going to vote. You all should vote as well. Else you don't tell anyone who you're going to vote for. If you're prideful, you want to get in a fight and stuff, go for it. It's it's your decision. I told my father uh, not that long ago that you know I'm who I'm going to vote for. Actually, I didn't, but he he knew who I'm going to vote for. I told him I don't care what you think. They don't want to talk about it. They want to argue about it. It's none of your goddamn business. We keep doing this. I won't talk to you for six months to a year. Ashley's. Uh, Part of the family, not all of them, um, but had the same take. Basically, we're going to stop talking to them because we don't want to hear. I'm not going to talk to you about who I'm going to be talking, uh, who I'm going to be voting, or what I think about it, or opinion-wise. I do not want to hear from you as well. This shit's been going for the past four years, and you know that's why I'm apolitical because I really don't care. I only do things what is right. For now and the future, 
I believe in being, we gotta be progressive because times have changed. Everything is changing. The climate's getting worse. Seasons are getting shorter. Winter's getting longer. More, more natural disaster due to it. If you're not going to use science to dignify it and help fix or, or try to slow it down, then we're going to have a very short human society or a very small one as well. If you're not going to wear a mask, stay at home. There is nothing in the Constitution that says that you have the right to not wear a mask. There is none. I uphold the Constitution. I fought for the Constitution. It's one of the dumbest things I ever heard. You're not entitled. We have a responsibility. We have to look out for one another. We have to look for the future so that so the young will take over and make it great again, make it even better. But we have people that are stuck in their own ways, people that do not want to learn or move forward. Being old doesn't mean shit. I have a 72 year mentor that's a Vietnam War veteran. And I respect him. He did so many community service work, always get on his A game of what's current and, and check out the research for it. But there's a lot of people that won't do that. There are a lot of people that will not read the transcript or listen to the, uh, listen to the Senate hearing or what the laws are being passed. And a lot of times, the media is not really helping. I have to watch news and news report from BBC and other European news to get the right accurate one. That's how bad our news, news media is in America. It was a shit show. It was a disgrace. And this is the, the, the very few time I feel really pissed and feel really bad that I'm, I am American citizen and I fought for my country is how this turned out to be a freaking shit show. A lot of veterans will feel the same way. Some of them won't. Because I know there's a lot of veterans right now because South Carolina is nothing but pretty much veterans. And we're very pissed. But we're just going to keep going moving and see what happens next. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, like I said, I won't read the comments if it's something stupid. Actually, I said I will not read the comments in general, but if it's something very good, I will reply to it. But if it's something stupid, you guys can deal with it. I really don't care. Anyhow, guys, talk to you later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.